Hi guys, it's Danny from the Scrap FX Design Team for May 2021. Today I'm using my junk journal and I'm going to use the new releases from Michelle Logan, the Dotty Ladies. So I've picked a layout here and I'm just going to cover this die cut here so it doesn't disturb the page previously. So I'm just using some old book paper and I'm gluing that down to disguise that die cut and to add a little bit of texture to the background as well. So I'm just going to glue those down. This is the Dotty Ladies, it's called Daisy Dot by Michelle Logan. I'm just going to use my little jelly plate here just to get some paint down nice and quickly and to get a bit of depth and texture and have a little bit of play with some of the scrap effects stamps. So this little stamp here is called Round and Round. And I'm just sort of stamping it into the jelly plate and stamping it off onto the page and just being fairly random layering out all those colors. I've picked or selected all my colors from the actual collage papers, just the, the colors that Michelle's used and I've tried to sort of incorporate those into the background. This stamp set here is called Flower Power. And so I'm just layering through the, the pages here that I've selected for my layout. And again, just using the stamp sets and stamping into the jelly plate and stamping off onto the actual pages. And just basically getting a lot of paint down very quickly without giving it too much thought. But it actually adds a little bit of depth and texture and it's just a really fun way to apply paint to your backgrounds. So just using a little bit of fluoro paint here to give it a bit of a pop. And this one is the stamp set nine dots. And again, just adding a little bit more color to that background. And it's starting to get a little bit crazy here with all the colors. This is just a little bit of drywall tape. It's actually adhesive on one side. So I'm just going to add that to my pages as well as a little bit of added texture and another pop of colour in the background. I've gone a little bit crazy here and decided that it just needed more texture. <laughs> Which I don't know what I was thinking but anyway it all pulls together in the end. So I just keep on layering throughout those pages. I'm just adding a little bit more glue to that sticker paper or the drywall paper just to make sure that it's adhered to the page. So this is the daisy dots. I've fussy cut that out and decided to try and tone down my page by adding a bit of white. So I'm using the zebra stamp set here and then I'm going to brush on some white areas just so that the collage paper can then sit down on the page without being overtaken with that background and again just stamping the zebra stamp set throughout the layout and that pop of white has really helped to tone the page down and give the the lovely collage place a real place to sit on the page without sort of being overtaken it becomes the focal point once more so I'm just gluing that down. I've had to cut off the excess to make it fit my junk journal. And again, just giving that white paint another second layer just to really tone down that background. I'm using the Stabilo Ore here just to create a bit of shadow around my lady, around Daisy and I've just water activated that and that really grounds that collage piece into the page. Now I'm just adding a little bit of pit pen here and I'm just putting in some features and colouring in my eyeshadows and doing a little bit of skin tone here with the layer cakes. Just adding a little bit of paint just to fill her out and give her a little bit more pop off the page. The beauty of this collage paper is it's quite thick, so it does take quite a bit of medium. Now 
Now I'm just using my um, Posca pen here. Oh, sorry, I think it's a pit pen actually. And I'm just doing a little bit of mark making in the background, just cause that white was a little bit too stark. And I'm using the rest of the collage pieces from that page, just the other elements. Decided that I needed to put a little bit of um, color back into that white as well. So I've just used a woody here and water activated that as well. And now I'm adding the extra elements from the collage paper from Michelle Logan. I love how these collage papers actually really help you to design a, a page quite quickly. You can just cut out the elements and stick them down and you've got a, an art journal page before you know it. So I'm just positioning those pieces, working out where I want them, auditioning them on the page and then I'll glue them down. And again, using the Stabilo Ore just to ground those collage pieces that I've added to the page. And decided to go around the edges of the page as well. I really liked the, the grey tone, so I've just added that to the edges of the pages as well. Now, continuing on with the next page, so this is quite a small page in the middle of the layout. And I'm just adding that white paint again, just so we've got some consistency throughout the layout. I'm using the collage, or circle collage stamp set here. And stamping through the front and the middle page here. Now this is a rice paper, also designed by Michelle Logan, it's called Mini happy houses and the houses were just the right size for that little middle page so I've turned the page over on the rice paper and given it a layer of gesso because I didn't want them to be translucent on the page I wanted them to sort of stand on like a collage paper so I've given that layer of gesso and I've fussy cut them out and now I'm just auditioning them again on the page making them fit and working out where I want them. A bit more mark making just to give it that consistency throughout the layout. And I did shuffle these pieces around quite a bit before I decided on the final placement of them. But once I was happy I did glue those down with the collage medium once more. So just gluing down underneath the rice paper and then gluing straight over the top as well. And that really gives you a great adhesion to the page. And again, just a bit of that Stabilo Ore to go around to create a bit of shadow around the housing really ground it to the page and then around the edging as well. Then moving on to the final page of the layout. And again, laying down that white paint just to create that consistency. Using the circle collage again, which I've used throughout the pages. And again, I'm using another quote from that first Daisy Dots collage sheet. And I'm also using the Bulb Blossoms, also designed by Michelle Logan here, just on the final page. And I'm just assembling them on the page, auditioning them, and then I'll glue those down as well. Again, popping down a bit of mark making. So we've got that consistency running throughout the layout. And then the Stabilo all around the collage pieces, just to ground them onto the page as well. So I'm just going back over with my Posca pens here and fine liners and just scribbling around those collage pieces just to give them a little bit of popping from the page and really sort of embedding them in the page as well and then also around the borders of the pages just the final touches here and there a 
little bit of colour pencil back over the collage pieces just to make some of those colours pop. And then Daisy Dot's final touches with the gel pens here. A little bit of fluoro pink splatter. And that's basically it. You can see how quickly these pages have come together. Although it was a few pages together, it's actually come together quite easily just by using all the elements of those collage papers and rice papers. Just the final quote in the middle page. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this. Michelle Logan's done a beautiful job with these dotty ladies. So hopefully you can get your hands on them and have a go. Please leave us a comment if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.